going to be installing the Azure Active Directory application proxy tunnel. Think of this as a way of allowing your third-party applications access to your Sage 200 data using the Microsoft 365 single sign-on and provides a simplified setup process. In this video, we will cover the prerequisites for installing the tunnel, downloading the application, installing the application, how to activate the API, and how to test the API to ensure it is set up correctly. Once successfully installed and tested, we will look at what's next. The prerequisites for installing the tunnel. This video is designed for Sage 200 accredited business partners and is therefore pitched at a business partner level. In the previous videos, linked in the description, we explained how to check your customer has the right Microsoft 365 license in place. If you haven't done so already, please review the onboard with Microsoft 365 steps before continuing, as you will need the correct Microsoft 365 login credentials to complete this installation. I would recommend being logged into the Sage server machine as the Windows user the customer would like to be the API tunnel user. I would also recommend installing the Sage 200 client and testing the user's access to the required companies and features. If they do not appear, configure the user correctly within Sage 200 system admin before progressing any further. If you haven't created a Sage ID for this user, please visit my.sage.co.uk and create a login for the user and link it to the customer's Sage account. Please ensure the My Sage terms and conditions have been agreed for this user too. With these things in place, you should now be ready to download the Azure Application Proxy Installer. You can find the download by searching on the website gb-kb.sage.com for the words set up the Sage 200 API and open the article called Setup of the Sage 200 Native API using the Microsoft Azure Active Directory Tunneling. Click on the link for the Azure Application Proxy Installer. Log in using the Sage ID of the API user and click Download. Extract the content of the zip file and run the application proxy installer program. Click on the install and configure button. Agree to the license, click install. During the installation process, you'll be prompted to log in to your customer's Microsoft 365 account twice. First, as part of the installation of the app proxy, and then as part of the configuration, which populates information into the app proxy installer form. Click on OK. Minimize the window and open the Sage 200 system admin so we can check the status on the API tab. When you click on the API tab, it will ask you to log in using the .onmicrosoft.com email address and password. If you've used an email address beginning with admin at and ending with dot on microsoft.com during the installation, the API status will be enabled automatically. I would recommend making a note of the site name as you will need to use this later as part of the test when using the test tool. You can see here that my API status is enabled. If you've used an email address which does not end with .onmicrosoft.com, the status will show as pending authorization. You will need to contact technical support with the email address details, site name, and site URL, which can be found here. Technical support will verify that the information is correct and enable the API for you. 
Once enabled by technical support, you can either refresh the API tab or just reopen System Admin and revisit the API tab to check if the status has changed. In the App Proxy Installer, click on Copy Native Name to Clipboard. In a web browser, open https colon forward slash forward slash aad dot portal dot azure dot com and log in with the customer's Microsoft 365 login email address and password. Click Enterprise Applications, click on New Application, and click on Add an on-premises application. Paste the native name into the name field and the external URL will populate automatically. Switch back to the app proxy installer, click on copy native URL to clipboard and paste the native URL into the internal URL field on the Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Change the pre-authentication dropdown to Pass Through and click on Create. A notification in the top right will show the application has been successfully created. This can take a couple of minutes to appear. Next, let's configure the tunnel user in System Admin. We will need to add the Sage account email address to the user in System Admin who will act as the API tunnel. To do this, click back into the Sage 200 System Admin program, access the Users tab, right click on the user, and select Properties. Click on the API tab, tick the Sage box, input the user's Sage account email address, click Apply, and then OK. Next, let's test the API is running and accessible. To access the test tool, open a web browser and visit gb-kb.sage.com and search for the words Sage 200 API test tool and open the article of the same name. Download and extract the testapi.zip file on the Sage server and run the test API application by double clicking the testapi.exe file. Log in using the Sage account email address and password of the user who you've set up as the tunnel user. Select the extra and professional option. Type in the site name you noted earlier and click get site status. The default web browser will open and if the test was successful, the number one will be displayed. Clicking Get Sites will show the same list of companies the tunnel user could see when they logged into the Sage 200 desktop client as part of the prerequisites of this process. Selecting one of the companies from the sites list and clicking Get Company Details will display additional details from that company proving the connection is working and is able to return data from within that company. This is proof the API is set up correctly and is ready for use by the customer's developer to allow third-party applications to use this connection. Our developer support team have created some video content. This covers how to query the API endpoints using Postman or other third-party tools. This will be useful for any developers who are making their own applications to either send information to or pull information from the Sage 200 Professional program 
using the native API. There is an additional video on how to set up and use Microsoft Power BI, which may be of interest. Thank you for watching this video on setting up the Sage 200 API using the Azure Proxy Tunneling method.